Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a get ready with me for a cinema night out. This is to celebrate the release of the new film Edge of Seventeen starring Hayley Steinfield who I absolutely love. So I'm super excited to go and watch this. So as well as showing you me getting ready and putting this makeup on, I'm also going to be taking you along with me to the cinema. So you will see clips of me going to the cinema buying my tickets going in and then at the very end I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my own opinions about the film and yeah I'm just really excited so without further ado let's just get on with the video so to start off this look I'm taking my Benefit Stay Dirt Straight eyeshadow primer and I'm just applying this all over my lid and under my brow bone Deck the halls with boughs of holly la 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 I am then blending in using a flat shader brush. And for eyeshadow today, I'm using my Manny MUA Makeup Geek Collaboration Palette. So first of all, I'm taking the middle shade in the top, which is Beaches and Cream, and I'm just applying this all over my lid to set the primer in place. Then I'm taking the middle shade in the palette, um, I can't remember what it's called, but I'm just blending this in my crease using a Zoeva 218 brush. Then I'm taking the middle bottom shade and I'm just applying this on my outer V and my outer corner. Um, I'm just, first of all, packing the shade on using a dense brush and then later I'm blending it out using a Zoeva 218 Lux crease brush, I think they are. Um, yeah, and as you can see, I'm just blending it out. Then I'm taking the bottom right shade and I'm just applying this on my outer corner and in my crease to deepen the look a little bit and make it a little bit more smoky. Then I'm taking a dark cranberry shade from Makeup Geek. Um, I can't remember what this shade is, but I'm just applying this all over the lid. Then I'm taking a gold shade, which is Magic Axe, again from Makeup Geek, and I was just applying that on the inner corners before applying some glitter glue because we're going to apply some glitter over the top. So the glitter that we are using today is the LA Splash Crystallize Fine Glitter in Angel's Tip and as you can see this is like a pretty gold colour so putting the gold eyeshadow underneath um, would just help brighten the look a little bit. Then for eyelashes today, I'm taking a pair of Lily Lashes in the style Kuwait. Now moving on to face makeup, first of all I'm taking my NYX pore filler and I'm just applying this in places where my pores are most visible, so like my cheek area and my chin. And then for foundation today, I'm taking the MAC Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. And then to blend that in, I'm using my trusty Beauty Blender. For concealer today, I'm taking the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla and I'm just applying this under my eyes and this is also going to help sharpen up the eyeshadow. And again, I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend this out. To 
set under my eyes today, I'm using the NYX HD setting powder and I'm just applying this under my eyes. To contour my face today, I'm using a Makeup Geek contour pan and I'm using the shade Cool Fair or Fair Cool. It actually does have a name, but like, that's the undertone. But yeah, I don't know which one it is. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm going back in with the NYX HD Finishing Powder. Then to bronze up my face again, I'm taking another Makeup Geek contour pan and this time I'm taking either Warm Fair or Fair Warm. Again, it does have an actual name for the shade, but that's the undertone and I don't know which way it is, but yeah. <laughs> Then for blush today, I'm taking a Milani Baked Blush in the shade 2, which I believe is Rose, I think. Then for highlighter today, I'm taking a Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder in the shade Grace, and I'm just applying this to the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and the tip of my nose, and also in the arch of my eyebrows and also in the inner corner of my eyes. Then I'm going back in with the middle bottom shade out of the Makeup Geek palette that I used earlier and I'm just applying this on my lower lash line before coating my eyes with a few coats of Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. And then outlining my lips with a Gerard Cosmetics lip liner. I can't remember what shade this was in, um, but I'll leave lists to all the products I use in the description box um, so that you guys can know exactly what I was using. Now I'm taking the L'Oreal Gold Obsession lipstick in nude gold i think or it might have been pink gold i can't remember and um, again it'll be listed down below in the description box but yeah i'm just applying this over the top So this is the look that I've just quickly come up with and I'm super excited to go watch the film, so let's go. So guys, I've now had a quick change of outfit. I'm now in this pink jumper because I just thought it went a little bit better and it's a lot comfier as well and it is also cold outside, so I did want to be a bit warmer. But yeah, it's currently like seven o'clock. I think it's literally just gone seven um, and the cinema viewing that we're going to watch um, is at half past eight. So yeah, I'm taking my mum with me to go watch, uh, because why not, just me and my mum. Um, but yeah, and where we're watching the cinema is like an hour away, so yeah, that's why we've got to set off. And plus we've got to quickly stop off at the post office, because I've got to collect some things, like I've got quite a few of them cards that they like, put for your door if you're not here. Um, so yeah, I've got four parcels to pick up, lol. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to go watch it. Like you guys don't understand. Like I've been watching tons and tons of trailers. I think I've probably watched all the trailers that there is. So I kind of know what's happening in the film, um, but at the same time I don't. But yeah, really excited to go. How do you feel, Mum? Are you excited? Yeah, but I've got a sore mouth. Why, what have you done? Oh, Mum, we're wearing the same colour jumper. Um, just because we've been doing lots of um, the pantomime for school, so we've been doing lots of singing practice, so my brace rubbed all my mouth. So yeah. It's all. But yeah, we're going now. I'm going to obviously bring you along, like I've said, and yeah, I'm really, really excited.
So guys, we're now here, um, so we're just getting to get our tickets. My knee proper hurts. But yeah, we just need to buy our tickets, so that's what we're going to do now. So guys, we're now bobbing to Asta because the film starts at half past eight. Well, it doesn't actually start at half past eight, um, but it's only eight o'clock now. It says that the film starts at half past eight, apart from it doesn't, because the man told us in the cinema that the trailer starts at half past eight and the film doesn't start till five to nine. So we've got like an hour yeah, until sweet. the film actually starts. But yeah, so mum's just gonna do a bit of shopping and stuff. But yeah, that's all that we're really doing. And my knee is really hurting. So me and mum have just picked up a duvet cover for me and Sophie um, to go on our beds. So it's the 1st of December tomorrow. So guys, we're now in the cinema, but it's only just gone half past eight. So that means that we've got to stay through 20 minutes of advertisements. But, yeah. good. We've got our tickets obviously because we're in here. I've got a drink, I've got a tango in because I haven't had one in ages. They stopped from them where I live now. Um, but yeah. Grand I just got blue because that's my favourite one. So, guys, we're now at the cinema. It made me and mum cry numerous times. It's such a good film, you guys. You should definitely go watch it. Like, it's just, it's so funny, but then there's moments in it as well that are like... It's quite funny a lot. Yeah, it's more funny than it is sad, but there's some sad bits in it. So me and mum will never have our tissues, <laughs> crying. <laughs> but yeah, definitely go watch it, you guys, yeah, yeah, it's so funny. It's just so My good. My neck was soaking from so, crying. Yeah, same. The storyline of it is just really good as well. And it's now quarter to 11. And we're on our way yeah, home. Yeah, I didn't think that it would have that big storyline. Um, but yeah, it was it was a it was a lot different to like I thought the storyline was going to be different. I thought I'm not going to give it away, but I thought something else was going to happen, but no, it didn't. Uh, but yeah, it was really really good, and I was so happy I went to go see it. So guys, I'm now back home, and oh my god, I seriously cannot get over how good that film was, like. Definitely go watch it. Definitely tweet me using the hashtag Edge of Seventeen because um, I do want to know your guys' opinions because I really, really enjoyed it. It's so relatable, so easy to connect to, and just yeah, it's just really good. It's really funny, and then there's the bits where it's really emotional as well. But yeah, it is now. What time is it? It is now half past eleven. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna head off to bed because I've got a long day ahead of me tomorrow and yeah just wanted to say that it is genuinely a really really good film definitely recommend you to watch it Um yeah I, I just can't get over it it was such a good film I think it's definitely one of my new favourite films so that was it for today's video and I hope you did enjoy it don't forget to go book your tickets to see The Edge of Seventeen which is now in cinemas a booking link will be in the description down below and let me know your thoughts on the film using the hashtag Edge of Seventeen and that is it for today's video and I will see you tomorrow with another Christmas video bye that one